We all love the robots in our favorite books and movies, but these are fantasy robots. This video will show you what the robots of today are really like. It is difficult for robots to do the things that humans do with ease, such as walking, running, playing, and seeing. Most walking robots of today don't walk like people. They are slow and inefficient. Believe it or not, this robot is state-of-the-art in trying to get a robot to walk like a human. It is also difficult to get robots to play. and even recognize a friend's face. Luckily, robots are good at things people aren't, like being exact, lifting heavy objects, and repeating tasks many times. This is what makes robots useful in factories. These industrial robots aren't really taking away jobs from people because they can do tasks that people cannot. We can use robots to go to far away or dangerous places where we can't go. They help us explore places like Mars and deep undersea. This robot will be used to help astronauts in space. These robots will be used by the men and women of the armed forces to defuse bombs and perform surveillance. Remote control robots can also be used in search and rescue missions to find people trapped under rubble. A rescue robot like this can help find people trapped in a burning building. Recently, robots have found their way into our homes by doing chores we don't want to, like vacuuming. And mowing the lawn. By now you have seen that robots don't all have two arms and two legs. For flat surfaces, wheels are a better choice for robots. Four or six wheels add stability in uneven terrain. A robot with two wheels can turn sharply and quickly. Tank treads allow a robot to go upstairs and over rubble. This robot has six legs for smooth walking over even the roughest of terrains. As you can see, a robot's joints can be quite different from our own. Roboticists often get inspiration from nature. This robot looks like a snake. And this one looks like a dog. Scientists studied cockroaches to learn the best way for their robot to go over large obstacles. The click beetle was studied to learn how to make this robot jump. Most robots have a human or a digital computer controlling them, but these have neither. Instead, they have an electronic nervous system that controls their actions. Robots don't always mimic nature. What would you call a robot like this that moves like nothing else on the planet? This is a modular robot, which means it is made out of many similar building blocks. This is useful because the robot can still function if one of its blocks happens to break. It also allows the robot to change its shape depending on its environment. We can get robots to play games too. These robots are playing tag. They don't have eyes, but they use simple light sensors to detect where the other robots are. The same sensors allow these robots to solve a maze in a competition.
Once a year, a large international robotic soccer competition is held. Colleges and universities compete for the coveted RoboCup. These robots are not remote controlled. They are autonomous, which means they are smart and independent. I think the walking robot division is the most fun. These robotic dogs are neat because they can do moves regular soccer players can't. Have you ever seen a move like this before? Robots can be programmed to do some really neat things. Here are some cool robot dance steps. Not many robots can do gymnastics, but this one can. These four robots were programmed to do a coordinated dance to music. Building robots is fun and easy. You can do it too. Here are a few of the robots I made. This one uses light sensors to avoid hitting walls. This is my version of a snake bot. This robot learned what to do when it hit a wall.